Hello and welcome. Today, I will explain the difference between OnClick and AdListener. In small projects or when the button's functionality remains fixed, using OnClick is sufficient. This is because it is easy to set up through the inspector and does not require extra coding. What is OnClick in Unity? We use the OnClick event to control when a button is clicked. This is typically used to trigger a function when the button is pressed. The onclick property can easily be used by assigning a function through the inspector panel. When you assign a function to the onclick event of a button, that function will be called every time the button is clicked. This feature is very practical and quick, especially for small projects and static functionalities. In this example, we'll create two functions increase number and decrease number. When we click the button for increase number, it will increase our number by one, when we click the button for decrease number, it will decrease the number. We also use a function called up to 10 number to update the UI with the current value of the number after each operation. This ensures that the displayed number on the screen always matches the internal value of the variable. Let's call the onclick event first. Drag and drop your text mesh pro object, the UI text component into the script in the inspector. Next, select the button in your Unity scene. In the inspector window, you'll see the button script component attached to your button. Inside that, you will find the onclick event. Now, let's go ahead and test it out. As you can see, everything is working perfectly and the UI updates as expected when we click the button. Now, let's move on to the second method, AdListener. In general, AdListener is preferred in larger projects. It gives us more control over the button's functionality because we can add event listeners programmatically in the script. First, we'll define our buttons as public in the script. This allows us to access them directly from the inspector window in Unity and assign them to the corresponding buttons in our scene. Inside the start function, we'll use addListener to attach events to our buttons. This way, we can programmatically assign the functions that should be called when the buttons are clicked. By using addListener in the start method, we ensure that the event listeners are set up when the scene starts, allowing for greater flexibility in handling multiple buttons and their associated actions in your code. Now, let's test it out. I will walk you through the process of assigning the buttons in Unity's inspector window. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support means a lot and helps me create more content like this. Thanks for watching.